In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing my back massager. I think for this type of back massager, I've tried many just by going into like Brookstone. <laughs> this one I think is the, the best one yet. I've actually been using this for more than, more than a year now. I think it's a really good tool to help you um, unwind and relax and do something brainless in terms of um, rehabbing some tight muscles, increase circulation, into some tight muscles and this one is for the low back region what I like about this the balls are even there's not one side that is higher than the other I'll show you right here they're flat actually like the heads of these massagers are flat and it's also heated and it's actually enough heat for me um, I like a lot of heat so this is actually a good amount of heat it's a direct plug-in I think it even came with a car a car adapter so you could actually have this in the car if you're a commuter like I used to be. So how I have this set up here is that I have this part of my couch and for a low back application I usually just put it here just like that and I have it plugged in right there and it works out very nicely. If I want it to be just on the mid back something like this this is a perfect size and I can put it here and lay it on top of that. Now I have a mid back application for this massage which is great and then you're going to want to support your head here for an upper back application or even into the trap area you now have to lift it yourself keep that low back pillow there for you and then and then find where your traps are and just do that now to really get in between like if you have a smaller body you'll need to open up that area where the muscle lies in between your scapula and your spine, right? Because you don't want to hit the bones of your shoulder blade and the bones of your spine. So you want to open up that area. So a good, a good way to do that is to do this. And now you've opened up your shoulders, right? Sometimes I do this to get in there. And then it's, it's about experimentation and finding where it most serves you or where it's hitting the right spot and just make sure it's always level and then as always support your head if you can and this machine this tool will run for 15 minutes straight and you can easily stop it whenever um, but I like to go full session so 15 minutes on the on the traps 15 on the mid 15 on the lower, and I could just keep going. I could just sit here all day, actually. <laughs> anyway, so that's my review of this. I've been using it for over a year. I think it's a really great massager um, versus the other ones that I have, um, you know, like one is longer than the other. I feel like you have more versatility, more flexibility with this, and you can use it up and down your spine. I also sometimes use it, say, um, if I have a sore leg, I can do it here too. Sometimes my calf would be kind of weird and I would um, do that as well. So that would be really helpful too. And I can even take this into bed and just kind of lay on it. Um, the only thing I wouldn't do, okay, is like if you have some gluteal pain, some butt pain, um, and you want to use it on your butt, you definitely can just support the other side. So never lay on this thing where you're uneven. I've done that before and then I put myself in a lot of pain because I made my hips uneven and then laying like that for 15 minutes and then I couldn't get back up. Don't do that. Um, always make sure things are even and supported. So you never want to be too lopsided like I'm doing here. I'm supporting this other hip. Um, by putting this under here, it's making me, it would do this, right? So I need to support this side by just putting this leg up. That's what I would do. That is my review. I hope that it helps you. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.